in the given figure, we have R is equal to 11 ohms, C is equal to 6.63 microfarads, and L is equal to 53 millihenries. The ideal battery has EMF 31 volts. The switch is kept in constant position A for a long time and then thrown to position B. So after it is connected to A for a long time, it's going to then be thrown this way to position B. We're asked what is the frequency. So for part A, we are asked to find the frequency. We have F is equal to omega over 2 pi. However, we're not given an omega, so we're going to have to use this next formula, which is 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. And our omega, we from earlier in a different problem actually, we were seeing that omega is equal to square root of LC. And we can see that we substituted our omega in for 1 over LC, just like that. From here, all we need to do is plug in our given values. And we should write these values down at the start of the problem just to make sure that everything, that we know everything that we're going to be using. We can first start by saying that our R is resistance, which is 11 ohms. Our C is 6.63 microfarads and our L is equal to 53 millihenries. Lastly, that our EMF is equal to 31 volts. After we have this written down, we can see what we need to plug in. So in here, we have our F and we are setting that equal to 2 pi and then we have a square root. Our L is 53 millihenries. To convert this into henries, which is what we need, we need to multiply this by 10 to the negative three. We have H, and then we need our C, which is in microfarads, so we need to have 6.63 times 10 in microfarads is negative six, so we need to multiply this by 10 to the negative six, and we get farads from that. Bring our square root over, our division sign over, and this is all underneath one. So our frequency, after we plug it into a calculator, is just going to be equal to 268.5 if we round it. And the units for this is hertz. So this is the answer for part A. For part B, we're asked to find the current amplitude of the resulting oscillations. To find the amplitude, we need to find I, to do this, we need to use the formula I is equal to 2 pi frequency times charge. Now, we were, we were given our um, frequency, well, actually we found our frequency in part A, but we weren't given a Q, we weren't given a charge, so we need to find Q, and to do this, we have to say that Q is equal to voltage times C. Once we have this, we can take it right here and plug it into our Q. And that's going to give us the new formula, which is I, so current, is equal to two pi times the frequency times voltage times C. We have our F, we have our voltage, which is our EMF, and we have C, which is 6.63 microfarads. After we plug in all of our values, we're gonna get I is equal to two pi times 268.5 henrys times 31 volts, times 6.63, times 10 to the negative six farads. And after we plug this into our calculator, we're gonna get approximately 0 0.347. And the unit for this is amps. So this is going to be the answer for part B, which asks us to, um, what is the current amplitude of the resulting oscillation? And that was our amplitude. Part A asks us for the frequency, and we found the frequency.